Yo, what is up guys, it's me Vlad, and I found this iceberg on Gorilla Tag Reddit. It's the ultimate Gorilla Tag Iceberg V1. I'm currently streaming on my Twitch, by the way, if you want, you could follow me on Twitch to the first link down below in the description. I try to stream there every day. But today we're going to be uncovering all of the secrets of this iceberg. Because as you guys may know, I'm the most knowledgeable person to talk about Gorilla Tag with. And, uh, you know, let's start, man. Let's start. Um, yeah. Uh, so, first things first, we have our first tier, the first musketeer tier, man, uh, and uh, it's uh, the mild tier. So, the first thing we have is Infection. Infection is an obvious uh, game mode that we have uh, uh, normally, and uh, most of these are already known by people competitive it's what you can find if you go into a city complete the course and actual actually click on the button you get into a competitive lobby and you can get out of the competitive lobbies by going to computer and changing it there crates are what you can find in the competitive lobby that's what i'm assuming it talks about or like it's what you can find when you go into the competitive course um, next, we have competitive course. Obviously, that's what we talked about. We have canyons. So, canyon map, easy paint battle. That's the paint brawl game mode. We played it today on stream. It was pretty fun. Uh, then we have mines. Mines are the place uh, which you go down from the forest map. So, everyone knows about this tag. is just tagging. Uh, colors you can change colors on the computer casual casual is a game mode cosmetics you can buy them in the store Jamin Curly is the most popular gorilla tag youtuber hunt is a game mode the music uh, music starts playing randomly in gorilla tag it's a normal thing uh, computer that's where you manage all of the settings the mountains is where you go through the city uh, and it actually got reworked uh, recently in the recent update uh, so yeah it's a map city is a map that uh, you usually manage uh, all of the maps through uh, and uh, yeah um, uh, then we have mount no we we did mountains uh, we have shiny rocks shiny rocks is the grill tax currency which you use to buy cosmetics uh, caves, okay, we, we did this, modders, modders, you know, mo we love modders, actually, no, everyone hates them, uh, but, you know, the modding community is pretty chill, besides uh, the mod menu troll kids, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, I think that's it, clouds, I mean, it's a clouds map, forest, uh, that's a forest map, okay, let's go into the next tier, next tier is, uh, you know, we're not smiling as much, but, uh, you know, you know, it's pretty depressing, ghost in the graveyard, uh, this is a ghost that was named Lucy, which uh, appeared during Halloween, there's an actual mod, uh, which uh, I have link posted to my discord, and the tag mod section, uh, so make sure to join the Discord, it's the first link down in the description, you know, we got a bunch of uh, stuff here, but uh, yeah, I think I posted the mod, I did a video about it somewhere here, yep, over here, BAMS, GTAG mods, size changing mod, and there was a Lucy somewhere in here, yeah, Lucy, uh, you can still get it, uh, then, then, uh, we have a uh, Daisy 09, which is the most popular uh, girl attack ghost from my perspective. Uh, then we have size tunnels. Size tunnels are the tunnels which you can find in the city and actually go through them and you change size. Another axiom is the company that made Gorilla Tag. Color Rush is a mini game, I'm assuming. Uh, Secret Tunnel is the tunnel in the forest which you can go through, and uh, you know there's nothing. Uh, there's actually sand added in this update. Then we have ATM. ATM is a place which uh, you can use, or uh, it's just an ATM which you can use to buy shiny rocks. MOTD. Uh, I'm not sure. I think MOTD is a, a ghost. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, flashback sales. Flashback sales are the sales of previous cosmetics that were introduced during the previous year and this year. Um, then we have one in the chamber, which is referring to a video, I'm assuming. 
Uh, then we have K9. K9 is a uh, YouTuber. He's a famous YouTuber. Uh, how many, oh my god, there's no it's flat in here. Okay. Uh, statues. Statue is a popular ghost that pretty much stands as a statue. Uh, mod menus. Mod menus are just uh, mods, but collection of mods in a single menu. And uh, if you guys wonder how to download mods, make sure to join my Discord. It's the first link down below in the description. And we have quest mod tutorials. We have uh, just normal mod tutorials and, uh, uh, y you know, a bunch of stuff. Please join the Discord mod. <laughs> okay, uh, we're done. Uh, <clears throat> Lemming is the creator of Gorilla Tag. Right now, we actually have 17 creators, so or not creators, but developers who are working on Gorilla Tag. Although there aren't that many updates being released, uh, we have VMT, who is the uh, YouTuber, popular YouTuber. Uh, fan games are just many games that people play. Uh, and uh, yeah, so statue slash end is here. Uh, and this here is a ghost, uh, which is pretty popular. Uh, and uh, yeah, he was originated uh, from uh, YouTube videos, just normal trolling videos. Uh, trolling, that's the videos, YouTube videos about trolling. Uh, band names. There are some names which you can use. I'm not gonna say them, uh, which they're pretty bad. Uh, don't say them, obviously, but uh, they can get you instantly banned in Grow Tag. I've seen some videos actually baiting people into uh, putting the names in uh, and uh, getting people banned, but yeah, don't do that. Uh, long arms. Long arms. So there are many videos about how to get long arms. You can use SteamVR, you can use mods, uh, but uh, long, long arms are bannable. Uh, early Gorilla Tubers. Early Gorilla Tubers. I'm assuming that's talking about YouTubers, uh, which were re originated a while ago, like uh, at the beginning of Gorilla Tag. There's GTAG TikTok. Usually, GTAG TikTok is pretty much Gorilla Tag TikToks, you know. Uh, there are some videos, compilations of videos. Uh, on YouTube, so from TikTok, uh, but yeah, Steam prices increase. If you guys didn't know, there a while ago there was a Steam price increase of Gorilla Tag, which increased to twenty dollars. So, so Gorilla Tag is twenty bucks on Steam. It's also twenty bucks on Oculus now, uh, which I actually predicted on my channel. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news. Oh my God, man, such a cool ad. Uh, old cosmetics room. So cosmetics room actually was uh, different. Previously, uh, it was um, going from uh, the um, stump into up, and it was this mini room which you could use to preview cosmetics, stuff like that, uh, but it got changed to a city. Uh, lighting glitches. Uh, so in certain updates, there were some lighting glitches in certain places, for example, the Christmas update, and it's usually because of the... Uh, um, Gorilla Tag baking, so the lighting of the line in Gorilla Tag is baked, it's not real time. Uh, in some games like Putin uh, V2, you know, so, um, or Kong, you know, so actually, no, I'm pretty sure in those games the lighting is baked too, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, there are actually some mods which make uh, like lighting appear. Uh, and uh, I might make a video about it soon. I might not. We'll see. We'll see. Make sure to subscribe to. I missed that. Uh, Christmas uh, popularity. So Gorilla Tag. Uh, if we go on Google Trends, actually Google Trends really quickly, and we go into and search up Gorilla Tag. Usually Gorilla Tag is popping uh, during the time of Christmas, and that's because most people play Gorilla Tag on Christmas. Yeah, as you guys can see. Um, uh, over time, uh, but no, I mean, this doesn't really reflect anything, but uh, pretty much if we go and uh, see the actual player count, usually it goes up more during Christmas because more people buy uh, the uh, headset. So uh, yeah, as you guys can see, uh, for example, oh, this is only today. Oh my God, bro. Uh, bro, I'm a professional YouTuber. Why am I doing mistakes like these, man? In the past, uh, for example, uh, f five years, for example. 
yeah, as you guys can see, Girl Tag was most popular during the winter, BAMS, as people bought headsets, BAMS, it climbed down. But BAMS, it got popular again during the winter, uh, and BAMS, it kind of climbs down now. You know, it's just, uh, just a normal trend. Uh, okay, uh, next, next, uh, we have the Eric1515. It's a popular YouTuber who is famous, I'm pretty sure, for just being good at Gorilla Tag. And uh, actually, some people, uh, no, he played with Jayman, I'm pretty sure, too. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a Chip uh, D Banjo. Uh, if not, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, either that's a YouTuber or a ghost. Injuries, there are some injuries, people making videos about like breaking uh, stuff, uh, playing Gorilla Tag, you know. Don't want to talk about it, don't want to get demonetized, but yeah. Uh, that, then, we have Sheba GT. Sheba GT was a popular um, mod creator. He still creates mods, from what I know. For example, we have uh, the size changing mod link over here in our Discord. Which is pretty uh, nice, actually. He updated it recently, but uh, he made uh, mod menus like uh, Shibo GT. Um, what it was, uh, I don't remember. There, there were some mod menus that he made, and they are pretty popular. That's the whole point. Uh, so yeah. Uh, right now, he's an ethical modder, from what I know, well, when I last contacted him. We have Jevu, who is a ghost. We have the stick. The stick is what moderators and Gorilla Tag actually have, uh, and they use that stick to be beat up people. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, but essentially, they use it to report people and ban them. Uh, name, Nemo. Uh, I'm guessing that's just uh, a ghost, because there are a bunch of ghosts in Gorilla Tag, Creepypasta. Uh, then we have Juke Comps, so uh, there are compilations of people just juking other people. Uh, maybe in competitive, maybe in normal lobbies, but yeah, that's essentially it. So this was the third tier in Gorilla Tag. <sighs> Iceberg, let's go down. <laughs> okay. Banshee. Banshee is a ghost that many people are scared of. It's more of an underground ghost from what I know. Uh, or it's a YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, the two Davids. The two Davids essentially is... <sighs> it's a creepy pasta, man. You know, uh, not much you can talk about it. The dungeon map is a new map which you can find in the city. If you go to the left, you can find, for example, we got the door recently. So... Uh, it's there. It's there for people to see, uh, but it's transforming. At first, it was just uh, an entrance painted. Then there were two lights added uh, to the map, and uh, there is now a door. I actually showcased in one of my previous videos what is behind that door using mods, so um, make sure to watch that video. Rich kids. So rich, some rich kids uh, just buy cosmetics like uh, the... Uh, mask on the third floor and actually if you guys didn't know the mask on the third floor isn't the most expensive cosmetic the most expensive cosmetic in Gorilla Tech's history is the golden brunch so it's the silver slash rose gold brunch that people can buy during the spring update and it's going to be out soon i'm promising you guys uh oh damn N uh, thank you, Glitch Gaming. Uh, Nemo is a group of hackers who created the ghost called Nemo. Uh, name, name, Nemo. Uh, Lemming joined the game and told everyone to leave immediately. Uh, Beachside, this ghost was dangerous. Oh, because the sign was... Thank you for info, man. You know, you can appear in the chat if you guys watch my streams. I stream on Twitch every day. Go follow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's go next. Um, so... Next, we have free shiny rocks. Free shiny rocks are some free shiny rock uh, videos. Usually, uh, people make fake videos about that, just prank videos. But I actually made some free shiny rocks videos, which are legit using their Gorilla Tag Quest referrals. Uh, and uh, I know quite a few people who actually uh, got um, even 
couple hundred bucks from doing this, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna pin the video down below in the comments for free Shining Rocks event video. But essentially, you can post your own referrals in my Discord, and uh, you can get some money. And for example, if you don't want to do that, you can actually just join my Discord and get 25% off sales on a bunch of games. We have Chapter One, Chapter Two of Saints and Sinners, Bone Lab, Blade and Sorcery, bunch of games. For example, I saved uh, day one when Bone Lab came out. I saved 10 bucks using a referral. So you know. 25% uh, off so uh, just quick uh, integration man sorry sorry for ads so many ads sorry uh, playfab playfab is actually what uh, games like gorilla tag use uh, it's created by Microsoft and it's an application that allows uh, people to see your cosmetics and uh, pretty much transfer stuff through the network okay uh, next, we have Photon. Photon is what Gorilla Tag uses for multiplayer. I actually did some research behind it previously, uh, and uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, most games, most Gorilla Tag games, either use Photon or I'm pretty sure it was called uh, the. Uh, it was, there was another thingy called starting with an N, but uh, pretty much Gorilla Tag uses Photon for multiplayer. Okay, toxic players. Toxic players are just toxic kids, man, who play Gorilla Tag. Six year old. Six year olds are, uh, you know, illegal players who play Gorilla Tag legally. Okay, that sounded pretty bad, but essentially you cannot play Gorilla Tag until you're 13 years old by uh, the Gorilla Tag uh, TOS. GTAG is dead is a series of videos which was introduced usually during the summer because Gorilla Tag didn't receive any updates and later it was explained that uh, Lemming had um, his dad in hospital so he couldn't post the updates and uh, if you have seen the the Google Trends uh, you know uh, thingy you could have seen Gorilla Tag going down during the summer and that's because no one bought quests people went outside and the uh, COVID uh, restrictions went away and that's why Gorilla Tag was essentially dead it had like 8,000 players man uh, during this uh, phase which isn't bad for a game it's really good honestly but yeah quest mods quest mods actually posted quite a tour quite a few tutorials on how to get some quest mods if you want you can uh, watch them uh, but uh, yeah uh Mankiru, Mankiro, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a, a ghost, I'm assuming. Death is another ghost, which was uh, like uh, introduced recently, um, but essentially it's a ghost uh, from Puss and Boots 2, if you have seen the movie, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, that guy. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, large scale mods. So large scale mods, I'm assuming this guy is talking about uh, the, the popular mods such as just mod menus, which were um, spread around the Grill Tech community, uh, you know, a lot. Okay, next we have warning bots. Warning bots essentially are just the bots uh, which uh, warn people and people usually quit. It's just another way of trolling. All of the ghosts, I'm gonna say it right away, all of the ghosts are uh, usually started by people just trolling and they uh, usually just, you know, transform. Uh, into something big. Uh, okay, Glitch Gaming has said on July 15, 2022, there was a, a surge of uh, invasions by no name bots. Uh, instead of copying himself two times this time around, no name was copying himself a thousand times. Uh, it is thought that these uh, no name bots were created by a team of hackers uh, who were tricked were ticked off about the game not getting updates raiding the servers in july however uh was very by a timing as lemming vr had announced the girl tag summer update to be releasing the day after the events of the tag as it been dubbed uh, this is based from google oh damn that's actually pretty sick uh, but yeah, actually was around during those times. I'm pretty sure uh, there are there's also bees bees mods which are uh, or not mods, but um, there was a time where there were a bunch of 
spots called bees which were just going around grill tech lobbies uh, but yeah some people were just faking them uh, going around with the uh, mod lobbies which was the majority of the people but yeah okay let's go next let's go next uh, so we got done with the middle section now we're going into the depressing section of gorilla tag huh. okay a November hack incident so during the November there was a huge hack incident happening in gorilla tag uh, I'm not as sure is it referring to this year or last year, but I'm assuming it's talking about the uh, large amounts of uh, bots being inside of Grow Tag. Uh, but yeah, you tiny ripper, you tiny ripper. So I'm assuming this is a ghost uh, or a hack, something like that. Sounds like it. Uh, but yeah, uh, next we have IP loggers. So IP loggers are essentially. A logging IPs in grill tag lobbies, which I'm assuming is a creepypasta because I don't really think that you can IP log in grill tag. For example, you can IP log in games such as GTA 5, but uh, I'm pretty sure for, through Photon it's uh, not easy slash possible to do, uh, or at least from what TTP, TTP, oh my god, TTP. Pig said, okay, I cannot, uh, I cannot deal with it. TTP is a moderator. Um, Unity Explorer is a mod that you can install which allows you to pretty much uh, put on cosmetics, uh, disable, enable, stuff like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool mod. Uh, but yeah, uh, invisible players. Invisible players are just uh, players going around with invisible mods. Just normal stuff here and there. Uh, blank tag. I'm assuming this is uh, referring to huge amounts of girl tag. Uh, copies which were uploaded uh, to SideQuest and other platforms. So just uh, usually games are called like monkey, monkey tag, um, human tag, something like that, you know? So just uh, copying uh, a bunch of other games. Okay, I don't wanna cover this, uh, but essentially there was a series of videos by one guy proving that uh, electronic or a girl attack moderator was a P word uh, But uh, I'm not giving any takes here. I think he's uh, just a normal dude uh, He has a family from what I know and um, you know um, Yeah uh, Not giving any takes on this, you know Okay, next we have Neckbreaker Prank. So I'm guessing there was a video named uh, Neckbreaker Prank, which there's actually a mod which you can install and it kind of like puts your neck down and um, you know, kind of looks like you broke your neck. Maybe that's referring to that. 21,000 in one week. I have zero clue what this is about. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Maybe it was 21,000 players uh, that actually started playing Gorilla Tag in the one week. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, British discrimination. I'm guessing there's a lot of discrimination in, in or discrimination in girl tag lobbies, but um, I, I don't know. Cannot provide much information about that. I'm just saying stuff that I know about this uh, iceberg. You know, I'm just stating information, not stating anything in particular, not stating that anything is true or, or you know, yeah. Um, GTAG Dark Web. GTAG Dark Web. I'm guessing there's a girl attack section on the dark web. Uh, as there is for anything really. Okay. Uh, 14 million from SR. I have zero clue what this is. If you don't, let me know in the comments. If you have any like facts that I got wrong or something like that. Or maybe more stories about ghosts in particular. Uh, comment them down below in the comments. It's actually pretty interesting to hear your guys' uh, information because, you know, I'm just one person who's trying to do some research about this and uh, uh, let you guys know stuff. Okay, G tag P word. Uh, so I'm guessing since the girl tag is highly populated by, um, you know, younger audience, uh, you know, okay, I, I don't want to talk about this, but you guys get the point. Okay, uh, Monkey Jesus Doc. So I'm guessing there was a person named Monkey Docs or Monkey Jesus who got doxed. But yeah, 
Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, Girl Tag is shutting down. So, there was a time when people thought that Girl Tag was falling off and it kind of like was shutting down, stuff like that, because there were no updates. So, I'm assuming that was that is referring to that. And uh, yeah, so there was a series of videos made about that. Uh, Lemming's Playfab account worth 25k. So, Lemming's Playfab account, I guess, is worth $25,000. Uh, but, uh, yeah. If you guys actually didn't know, there's a fact that Gorilla Tag is actually... Like, to buy all of the cosmetics inside of Gorilla Tag, it will cost you 324,000 China Rocks, which is equivalent to 3,000 bucks. Just a quick fact. Uh, but, you know, guys, something that they didn't put into this iceberg just gonna say it from here there's an actual article made by upload vr about gorilla tag uh achieving 19 million dollars in profit from what i've seen i think it was in profit or just overall achieving the number of uh, uh you know funds raised but yeah then we have gtag merch so essentially uh, from TOS, I've seen like a while ago, there was something like a section called um, merch and you cannot, I'm pretty sure, post Gorilla Tag merch if you get more than 100 copies sold. Uh, you must stop, I think. That's what the whole thing was about. But ex essentially, there's an actual TOS that was made uh, that was saying that you can host your Gorilla Tag themed party. So, uh, I guess, uh, you know, you, you can host a Girl Tag themed party. Okay, uh, next, next, remakes. So, essentially, there are Girl Tag remakes, a bunch of Girl Tag copies. Uh, but uh, what I think this is about, it's about uh, copies like Nox Tag slash. There was another one previously, but it got taken down because it was like monetized. I'm pretty sure mo next Nox tag isn't monetized, so it's not getting ta taken down because of that. Don't quote me on that, but essentially they're just girl talk, um, straight up copies, ripoffs, uh, and they get they just put in their own servers into the game, uh, and uh, you know just uh, they're just those versions of the games. Which people made videos about. Okay, dead gorillas. So there's a creepy pasta talking about dead gorillas. So pretty much around gorilla tag, you can find dead gorillas during the nighttime, and uh, yeah, they're just laying on the floor. It's pretty sad. It's pretty scary. And uh, yeah. Okay, lemming is a c word. Okay, I don't want to discuss that because I don't have any information about that. But uh, I'm assuming this is just some BS man. <laughs> because uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, just wanted to give a quick rundown on the ultimate G Tag Iceberg V1. You know, I kind of go through Reddit sometimes on my streams. Uh, so yeah, also today I played Gorilla Tag with a punch mod and allowed everyone to punch me. During the stream, it was actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, make sure make, make sure to go and give me my stream a follow, man, my Twitch a follow. But uh, yeah, see you later, guys. Bye bye. I'm out. See you in the next video, and peace out. This is kind of like a different type of con content, you know, on my channel. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you actually enjoyed this because I think this was pretty cool. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. Okay, uh, make sure to subscribe uh, and uh, watch one of the videos that appeared here on the screen or else I'm going to eat your pillow tonight. You cannot do anything about it. Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 what is that?